Hello guys, welcome to another Rossberry Productions video. Now, different video for you today. I normally make videos on what I like doing outside of work, which is working on cars, motorcycles, going on trips and tours. Now, I thought it'd be fun to start making some videos about what I do during my working week as a building services manager in the construction industry. So as you can see behind me, there's a rather large tank. This video is gonna be about the inside and the outside of a stainless steel panel tank. I'll talk you through the system and I'll also show you how the tank is constructed from the inside and out. So let's have a look around the outside of the tank. So the tank's construction is nearly complete and as you will see, it is a rainwater harvesting tank and its effective capacity is 50 kilolitres, which means it will actually hold 50 kilolitres of water before it will top over the overflows. So as you will see, it is a stainless steel panel tank. The stainless steel grade is 304 and it is bolted very regularly on each of the flanges. In between the flanges, there is actually a gasket and that's what gives you your water tightness. Now there's a few ways that you can actually build these tanks from it going directly onto the floor to just on upstand beams, but as you will see, these tanks have been built on concrete plimps with a I-beam going across the top. Now that will actually give you some space to go under there in the future if you ever need to torque up any of the bolts if it sprung a leak. So as you can see, there is an access panel just on the front there with its lid just down here. Again, has a gasket that goes all the way around and bolted very frequently. I'll show you inside the tank and the other access point shortly. So this is the drain. So if you ever want to remove all of the water down for maintenance or cleaning, you will actually drain that all the way down. If you just come around to the side here, you've actually got a top up. So that goes to a float valve inside and then that is just a fresh water top up or a possible water top up. And then here, once this is all working, this will show you your water level and I'll show you how that works shortly. Now this is actually the suction line that will go all the way to the pumps. So as this is rainwater, it goes through pumps and filters. So I'll just show you where that goes. So here is the pump set, newly installed. And that will actually pump the rainwater through some backwash filters, through some other filtration, and then into the building. That will then feed the toilet flushing and irrigation. So the tank is actually 3.7 meters wide by 8.7 meters long and I will now walk you around the side and show you the inlets and also the secondary hatch. So similar construction all the way around. And this is the secondary hatch or access point. Coming round to the back of the tank, you actually see this is where the inlet sides are, which will have the siphonic pipes coming down from the roof and going into the tank. And we are now standing inside of the stainless steel panel tank. So as you'll see, smooth on the inside. So all of those flanges we looked at on the outside are only on the outside, leaving you with a nice smooth finish. And you can just about see where the gasket is coming through between all of the panels, including the floor. You'll see structural uh, diagonal braces going all the way around the perimeter of the tank with horizontal bracing through the middle of the tank and this will hold the tank together once there is water in there. Two inlets at the back, I showed you these on the outside, so the water comes down from the roof through a first pass flush and then enters the tank from those two points there. 
And then in the middle of the screen is our secondary access hatch. Looking up at the ceiling of the tank, so this is not a pressure tank, so it's not designed to take full pressure of the water going up to the roof, so it will actually escape through the overflow pipe before it gets there, so hopefully that roof should never see water, or never touch water I should say. Coming around to the front of the tank, you can see the outlet pipe there, so that is the suction pipe uh, that the pumps connect to. And then this white tube has a float in it, which is a mechanical device, which will show you the water level on the outside of the tank, uh, which I showed you right at the start of this video. And then we've got our two floats there. So the standard float there in red, goes up to a float valve, so when the float lifts, operates the valve and shuts off the top up water. And the black float there is a Kelco Q-Series electronic float switch. Moving around to the front of the tank, you'll also see our drain point there. So if you ever want to maintain the tank and get all of the water out, you'll actually drain from that point there. And there we go, that's my video on a stainless steel panel tank in commercial construction. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a comment down below. I'm pretty good at responding to them. Give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.